<laughs> What's up losers and welcome back to another every freaking Wednesday yay yay welcome to Nellyville let's just get right into it okay so anyways um so I'm not gonna hold you long I have things to do people to see business take care of we are very booked and busy okay but I came to stop by spend some time with my Judy's okay so if you haven't already seen all the other spooky season um videos go ahead and click right up here and go watch those or you can watch them after it doesn't matter it doesn't make a difference whatever floats your boat if you haven't already done so go ahead and click the big red subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and um go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a brand new video beach okay so what are we doing today so for this spooky season uh oh all right, so for this spooky season episode, I thought let's talk about some scary things. It's not gonna be gory. It's not gonna be scary. No need to click off, okay? But I just thought I, got, I had this idea in my mind of let's talk about the things that are scary that don't necessarily have anything to do with Halloween. You know what I mean? Halloween is all about being ah, right? But it's. Sometimes it's not the obvious things that scare us. Sometimes it's not snakes. It's not ghosts and monsters and, and, and serial killers, okay? That's all the obvious Halloween stuff. But let's talk about five things that at least I find to be very scary, okay? So I'm rambling. Let's just get right into it. All right, so thing number one, in no particular order, in no particular order, okay, so thing number one, well, the first thing that I find to be very scary, and I know a lot of you Judy's, no judgment, not knowing who the baby daddy is. And for the guys, and for my guy Judy's, not knowing if you the daddy. Woo! Whoosh! Some of y'all are real life Jerry Springer Maury episode. And hey! Life happens. I'm not judging. I'm just pointing it out as scary. That shit got to be scary. I mean, can you imagine? <sighs> I took some of y'all back. I'm going to move on. All right, so thing number two. I'm sure most of us can relate. If you have a license, if you have a car. Driving on E. Driving on E because maybe you just didn't have that $5, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you, you just, you, you don't want to stop because you're, you're not in the right neighborhood or something, you know what I'm saying? You're not close to a gas station. Whatever the reason is, when you on E, you will turn off the radio, the AC, you won't even breathe hard. And all you will do is pray to Jesus. And it's just, oh. <sighs> We've all been there. We've all been there. You know, no need to be embarrassed. We're just pointing it out. It's scary. Ah! Okay. All right. So, thing number three. Thing number three. I don't know, guys. It's really scary, right? Oh, my God. Not knowing if your card is going to be declined. Baby. <laughs> um, you can sit up here and say that you never thought that your card was going to be declined. Bitch, you're lying. Because <laughs> I know. I know my Judy's. I know my Judy's have all been through it. And if you haven't, if you've been blessed enough, well, then good for you. You are highly favored. But we've all been in that situation where we start loading up, you know, we start unloading the grocery cart, right? And we start thinking, damn, maybe I picked up two or th three things too many. And you watching them beep, beep. And then when the number keep going up, and you like, damn, I hope I didn't take that bill out yet, you know? Because not all of us have overdraft protection. You know, overdraft protection can be crazy. And it's just, you never know. Or, or sometimes, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with insufficient funds, but sometimes, I know for me and my bank, if I don't let my bank know that I'm going out of town, which is most people, sometimes they'll decline the card for fraud. And then there you are, looking poor. When all you're doing is trying to travel, honey. You're trying to be fancy. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not going to name my bank, but I am sick and tired of going down the street. Because 
Let me tell you something about Texas. It's very weird. You can be in Houston at one light, the next light is Pasadena, next light is Friendswood, and then it's Webster. And I kid you not, if you buy some, get gas in Webster, and then you go down to the mall in Friendswood, bitch, they will decline your card. And it, this shit is 15 minutes away. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, I hope that never happens to you. I always carry cash. Okay, and check your balances before you make purchases. Buzz up. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so that was one, two, three. All right, number four. Number four, which kind of goes back to not wanting to stop when you're riding on E. Number four is being lost on the wrong side of town. Being lost on the wrong side of town. Being lost is never fun. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you're with. Being lost is not a great feeling, even if it's in a metaphorical sense. That shit scary okay and you know now that we have GPS and technology and most of our cars have GPS navigation systems in them it doesn't happen as often but let me tell you my baby Judy's GPS was not always the thing we used to have to map quest that shit okay and before that people were using maps people were just drawing maps for each other and if you got lost if you missed a turn there was no Make a U-turn at the next light. There was none of that. There was none of that. If you were lost, your ass was lost. And you better hope you get out of there quick. Because most of the time, some neighborhoods, they know. They know when a nigga look lost. And you don't want to be a target. But baby, this shit is scary. So thank God for Google Maps. That was being lost on the wrong side of town. All right, so number five, the last thing. If you don't live in a cold climate or if you've never visited, then this might not speak to you, but it should still shake your soul. When you are driving and you slide on some black ice, oh, Jesus take the wheel. I mean, okay, look, being in a car accident of any kind or spinning out of control, it, it, it <sighs> All of a sudden, a car becomes a weapon, and it's scary. It's really freaking scary. But when you slide on some ice, and the first thing they tell you to do is not break, which is a, which is a very natural instinct, and you just got to spin, or you just got to slide, and, 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 and hope that you, you know, don't slide out to the middle of traffic or into a tree, and if you hit somebody, you hope no one gets hurt. I mean, it's very your life will flash before your eyes. So if you live in a warm climate, God bless you. Um, I encourage you to go look up some videos because that, that will knock your socks off, okay? I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Even sliding if you're just walking on some black ice. I don't know if you ever fell on some black ice, but Lord knows I did. <laughs> but we're not gonna talk about that today. Um, so yeah, drive safely, people. Drive safely. I oh oh oh, it's cringe. All right, I don't want to talk about it. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, so yeah, those were just a few five things that I found scary that we needed to include in the Halloween experience. Okay, so if you have any other scary things that aren't your traditional scary Halloween things, please leave them in the comment section down below. Come find me on all of my other social media so we can have a conversation. Because you know I love to talk to you guys. I love to talk to my Judy's. I love to keep up. So what's going on? Tell me what's going on. If you don't have anything scary to say, just reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We could talk. Um, <laughs> anyways, um... Yeah, so that's it. Short and sweet. Just wanted to get on here and say hello. Um, don't want to hold you for long. So, yeah, guys, let's um, cut a little scratch. Subscribe, big thumbs up, post notification bell, and I will see you in the next episode, which will be the last and final spooky season video. Next week will be the last and final one, so make sure you come back. Okay, um...